Running has been a huge part of my life. I've always been super competitive in high school, like in everything I do. So coming out of high school, it was tough to try to fill that competitive void, that kind of sporting left. And so racing for me personally has given a way to, for me to push myself like to the limit, past the limit that I kind of missed. Um, I initially started running for uh, to help me with work. It's definitely increased my athleticism in, in the sense that it's made me a lot more well-rounded. Sometimes you got to do things that you don't necessarily want to do, but by doing them, your life is going to be benefited greatly. So we wake at the butt crack of dawn for Bailey at four o'clock. She's got to drive like half an hour and hike a mile to get to her start. So we wake up early. I woke up super rested this morning. It felt amazing. Um, even though we only got a few hours of sleep because uh, T. Waite wanted to stay up all night playing rock band. Despite that huge hurdle in our way, I woke up pretty energized. And I was pretty nervous when I woke up. Um, I've always been pretty bad about um, getting the pregame jitters. Um, we eat a little bit. I don't think any of us were really wanting to uh, eat much of anything today, just because of um, maybe the nerves a little bit. And then we head over to the race at about 5.45. Did some quick warm-ups. I don't know what that was. Let me show you what you The race start, I kept getting pushed back, which made the, the nerves even worse. Ooh, I got that good of form, hey, huh? You like I got that good of too form. Much, too much too. Um, did some more porta potty trips in there. Um, wreck those porta potties good. So I'm a little bit nervous that I haven't been able to get my mileage, but like my coach said that at this point, um, like the haze in the barn, everything that you like, our fitness levels is where it's at. And so stressing out about that isn't going to do me any good, so I'm just going to go out there and uh, trust that I've built a good aerobic base and go out there and hopefully, hopefully crush it. So I had to start at a little bit of a different spot than the guys, and uh, kind of a bummer. There was a mile walk to the starting line, which was very uphill. <laughs> a lot of people were not happy about that. So I tried to just think of it as a nice, good warm-up, get my heart rate going a little before the race, but definitely wasn't fun. This is like part two to the uh, Deception Pass Trail Race Half Marathon. Um, kind of step 1.5 for Bailey because she chickened out of the full marathon on us. She's going on a half, but it's all right. We're happy she's here. As soon as that race was done, we decided that we were going to get together again this summer for this full. And then having friends has been a total game changer. Like when it's just you training, you've got long training blocks, it's hard, you go to the race and then it's kind of over and that's kind of it. But um, the last two races, um, the one in February and this one included, has just been incredible with friends. We're watching each other train, we're sending videos in the link, podcasts to listen to, and then just that feeling being able to come together and do something hard is just awesome. So it's a good excuse to see old friends. Candy was able to find a great place. We're just staying in a little ski cabin. And it turns out, you know, just by chance, we're only a mile away from the start of the race. I know this trip was mainly for like the running and the race, but I was just more excited to get to meet up with squad and hang out. Anytime that we can all get together and reminisce about the good times and party together, <laughs> play some rock band, that's what I look forward to the most, making more memories. And we've, you know, been having a great time just hanging out, um, uh, playing games, um, Picking on each other, going on hikes, you know, it's been awesome. Yeah, but it'll loop that way and then go that way. It's so fun to get together with everybody. Just everyone knows each other, it's so relaxed. We've got jokes that are 10 years running now. And it's just been incredible to come and to hang out, to just give jabs at each other, um, save each other from microwaving metal plates that would have burned down the whole apartment. Uh, it's just a good time. <laughs> you go tell them, man. <laughs> Morale was super high because Tanner, Barrett, and myself 
at the very start of the race, you enter a, a, a train tunnel. It's pitch black, um, and there's water dripping dripping off the ceilings. It's kind of dark and uh, dark and musky, and um, you can only kind of see the outlines of people. And I turned my headlamp off because I just thought it was kind of a really cool um, setting. The three of us, so me, Tanner, and um, Canyon, we ran together for the first about 13 miles, and it was awesome. Going through the tunnel, kind of switching off back and forth, pacing, uh, just a super fun experience. I was able to keep up with Barrett and Canyon for, um, for the first 13 miles of the race. We ran together, we paced each other, we had a good time. How are you doing? Not good. Oh. <laughs> um, and overall felt pretty good up until around mile 9, 10. Really started to hurt. Um, but at that point, honestly, it just hurts just as bad to walk or run. So at that point, just got to put your head down and grind and get there eventually. Woo! Let's go, boys! When you're out there on a long run, you get to talking to yourself and you know you're hurting you're uh, you're going through some pain and so I think when when you're out there on those long runs you learn a little bit about your mental strength as well and you learn to push through barriers sometimes you sometimes you beat your inner self sometimes your inner self beats you but um, it's great you know kind of getting pushed to that limit there were times back in high school where I swear it felt like we were living in uh, we were living in a sitcom or a feel-good 80s movie or something um, every night especially during the summers we you know we'd get together and just have a good time there we had a good reputation for just getting out doing fun stuff hanging out but then I think we all just got along so well everyone was able to just kind of get in sync with each other and to just have fun Regardless of whether it was sitting around playing Mario Kart or going on hikes or playing steam pong, everyone was always done to, down to laugh at themselves and try new things. One thing that's been really cool though, I think it was why we've been able to stay together is we've all been able to grow together, which has been so cool to see the dynamic change from in high school where we're just joking around, messing around to getting back from our missions and seeing how much everybody had grown there. And even now people are moving on with their lives being married, um, got real jobs, finishing up secondary school. And it's cool to see how kind of we were going from having kind of those basic conversations to now having conversations about what we want to do within our life, really striving for greatness, having a family. And so I think being able to adapt and kind of change our point of view together has what's really kept us strong um, about 10 years going now. But overall, very proud of what I was able to do, um, also considering the lack of training I had. So. Um, actually finished 45 minutes faster than my first half marathon a couple months ago, so I feel like that was a big accomplishment. Me and Canyon finished through to the end, um, and it was just, this is the first time I ever ran with like somebody through the whole race, and it was fun because at points I would kind of be lagging, he would pick up the pace and push us, and then vice versa, and just crossing the finish line together was an awesome feeling there at the end. But I had to slow down for him at mile 25, so, I mean, I could have beat him, but, you know. <laughs> Uh, so I didn't meet my goal, but um, I heard a quote that said, if you aim big and fail, you still accomplish many things, but if you aim small and fail, um, you accomplish near nothing. And hopefully I'll just keep building that cardio base, and hopefully in the next marathon I'll be able to uh, keep up with Barron Canyon a little bit longer. I'm chafing, man. I got chafing armpits. No, it was, it was good. Oh, you, Bert? It was tough, but it was good. It's just good to be done. It's like, it's a good feeling. That's sick you guys stuck together the whole time. Yeah, it was definitely a game change. I've never ran with a, like someone before like that. And he carried me in places, I carried him in places, so yeah, it was sick. good. Maybe that was your race. So much fun. So it was fun. a good time. It's all about the puking, though. Did uh, you yeah, I threw up oh, right no. before the finish line. <laughs> it was great. I was struck in the last mile, and I didn't want to throw up in front of a lot of people. So I was like, and I kept running. I know it was great.
noticed that this time last year, me would have never dreamed of running three half marathons in less than six months. Um, so I just think it's really amazing what, um, what you can do, what you can, your body can do when you train for something. Um, really, I've learned that you know we're able to push ourselves past limits that we thought we had, um, that our bodies and that not just our bodies, but mentally, like we're a lot more capable of um, what we think we are. So that's been really cool to discover and to train for. So it's been a really good journey. And looking over uh, to my right, I was on the far left and I could look over on my right every so often and I just see uh, Tanner and Barrett um, just chugging along with us and it was super cool to see some of your best buddies there uh, uh, tackling the challenge there with you, which was for me the highlight of the race. The stage was different, definitely different having somebody to run with you, it was a lot more fun the actual race itself, having Tanner and um, Canyon at the beginning, kind of cracking jokes with each other back and forth and looking at Vistas together and pointing things out. So that was a lot more fun. Um, I wasn't nearly as prepared for this race as I wanted to be. So cardio wise, it was a lot harder um, dealing with knee issues. I think I had to endure a lot more than I have in previous races and didn't finish quite as strong as I would have liked to. But overall, a great experience. Having people around you like Barrett and Canyon and Bailey, um, you know, they're great to have around because they push you to become a better person and uh, that's the type of people you should be around. So anyways.